The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacy Sturm. And in the studio with me is... Mike Peluso. Peluso is in. We are introducing his new show, which is called... The Mike Peluso Outdoors. Mike Peluso Outdoors. So this is good. So this is going to air um, once a week on URL Radio. And then we're also going to turn it into a podcast that people can access as well. We'll probably air it once, I think, during the work week. And then probably once on the weekend, too. I like it. It should be fun. I know. So, Palooza, how'd you get the idea? What, what kind of show is this going to be, and how'd you get the idea for well, it? Well, you know, it's been kind of one of those things I've thought about for a long, long time. You know, I've always wanted to, you know, stay involved in the, the hunting and fishing and the outdoors in general. And, and, I, and I am in certain capacities the way it is. And, you know, I spend a lot of time, you know, guiding, and, and I run a fish house company mm-hmm. and all that. So this is kind of a, a platform for me to kind of put everything together and, and talk about it. And, you know, we're blessed here and in, in especially in Bismarck, North Dakota, with all the great hunting and fishing and outdoor opportunities we have here. But, you know, we're not going to just keep it here. We're going to try and, uh, you know, bring this thing kind of all over the place. And mm-hmm. let's let folks know how great an area, you know, not just Bismarck, but North Dakota and the surrounding states are and, and what we have to offer. And this is going to be fun. We're going to we're gonna bring all kinds of different folks in to talk about their experiences. I'm sure we'll have some controversial things happening on here yeah. as well. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, we always do. It, it, it is, you know, <laughs> and if, it, if that's something to do with, you know, maybe a regulation or, or mm-hmm. game and fish, uh, you know, what, whatever it may, may be. You know, I want people to talk about it. I want people to, you know, express their concerns and, and maybe we can somehow channel it in, in the right way to get things done. And, and again, you know, we're just trying to let everybody know how great an opportunity we have here in North Dakota especially, but we're going to grow it. We're going to try and, you know, reach out. We've got some pretty cool things that we'll talk about here as, as we get going here, but uh, super excited. I just think it's going to be something that this area has never really had and we're, mm-hmm. we're going we're gonna to bring it live. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I mean, they've done before like fishing pointers where it's like 30 seconds and they give you some fishing pointers, but never really a show where we could talk about issues like that. And I think that's important, especially to like Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota. I mean, a good part of our economy does deal with fishing, hunting, outdoors kinds of things. Oh, it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible how much goes mm-hmm. on. And, you know, I've got to experience that with uh, running Dak Shack Fish Halls. You go to a lot of these different sports shows across the upper Midwest. And, you know, when you're, when you're growing up and you're, you're kind of doing the ice fishing thing, you don't realize that it's, you, know, you just think it's a couple guys out on a, out on a frozen lake yeah. on, a, on a pail, drill a couple holes and sit there. But, boy, when you really start getting out there and, and see what is going on just in that little sector of the fishing world, mm-hmm. it's absolutely incredible how big it is and and you know it's just little things like that so again just kind of excited to kind of bring it all together here and talk about it and just have fun with it i'm excited to find out more too i mean i know there's so many great areas to to fish and be outdoors and <clears throat> just in the upper Midwest. I think a lot of a lot of little treasures that people don't know about. There's a ton, you know, and I and I spent so many hours and so many days, mm-hmm. you know, growing up here and, and, you know, certainly doing what I do now, but there's a lot of places that I'm going to be able to steer people and maybe even steer people away from, you know, yeah. which is fine too. But, mm-hmm. you know, again, you know, and, and I hope that people get involved and if they have questions or, or what have you, please feel free to get a hold of us and we'll, we'll try and answer them as best we can. I'm not going to take uh, any credit by saying I know all the answers but i will definitely do a lot of research and and find the right answers if i don't know it right off the top of my head so you know i think that's something that you know folks can kind of tune in and if they you know maybe want a fishing report or or where's a great place to maybe go camping this weekend Mm -hmm. or or shore fishing or whatever it doesn't matter you know we're we'll have a pretty good idea on where to steer people and i and i think that's gonna be cool well i suppose each area probably has its pluses and its drawbacks no, you they know, do. There's, there's good and there's bad to each area. Absolutely, and and, and again, hopefully, we can try and make that make those events or outings or what have you a little bit easier and a little bit better. And, and maybe maybe you know maybe we develop a memory for a lifetime for a small kid that getting mm-hmm. to go out fishing or you know going on a hiking trip with his his parents for the first time. So again, just you know want to try and explore it and I- I expose it. I hope more kids do get exposed to outdoors. I feel like like. Out outdoors outside is like a foreign concept to kids. <laughs> I tell my kid to go outside and kick the soccer ball around or play baseball, and they're like, 
what? Yeah. Like, that's what you do out there? I No, they I couldn't agree with you more. And, you know, again, you know, gro- growing up the way I did, it was, everything was outside. You, we weren't mm-hmm. allowed indoors, uh, especially in the summer. I mean, if it was Oh, yeah, Mom. If we it, came in, they'd be like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> exactly. So, you yeah. know, again, I, I want to see more kids, you know, out with uh, out with friends and family and, and what have you, out fishing and hunting and, and just doing the outdoor things, you know, whether it's you know, it's a nature walk or looking mm-hmm. for morale mushrooms. You know, we got those going right now, and they're, they're We had a, a ton of those after after the flood oh yeah did they're... you have them in your yard yeah we did it was a cr- i've never ever seen them before yeah. it was crazy yeah. and then all of a sudden the flood happened and then our yard was just filled with morel mushrooms <laughs> yep. and they're they're absolutely phenomenal Delicious. to eat and yeah. you know just little things like that but again i i want to see more kids in boats I, I don't see enough of them out there mm-hmm. i see you know a lot of older folks and myself included but i've got two little girls and i'm trying very hard to expose it to them and you know let them you know, touch it, feel it, see it. And if mm-hmm. they like it, great. If they don't, that's fine too. But at least I want them to have that opportunity to try it. And if they get hooked on it, hey, that's even better. But, you know, it's not for everybody. We know that. And that, that's with anything in life. But, again, I, I think we're going to try and focus a lot of attention towards trying to get youngsters involved in this. And we'll talk about it plenty on the show. I did have somebody ask me, too, if, if this was going to be covered during the show. Like, not just necessarily, like, um, hunting, fishing kind of stuff, but like recreational stuff, kayaking, canoeing, that kind of stuff. Oh, too. without a doubt. We'll talk about it all, you know, because there is some crossover, you know, especially now with, you know, the river getting a little bit more populated with mm-hmm. uh, different activities. And, you know, we'll talk about it. We'll, 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 we'll make sure that both sides understand what's going on. So, because there is friction at times and we don't, yeah. we don't want that. It's, you know, that water's there for everybody to enjoy. And, you know, we've all, we, we've all had our moments where we're like, hmm, why is that person doing that right now? Right. But you know what? It's their choice to do that and we yeah. all got to work around it and make it work so everybody enjoys the, enjoys their day it's just like us being on the road half the time i look at the driver and say why are you doing that right now <laughs> don't you know this is my road get off my road yeah right get out of my way <laughs> but no we we got to share it i mean everything here is that's what it's for what do you think is one of the most pressing issues now as far as water and the rivers and water bodies going? You, you know, in right now, water levels. You know, that's always been a concern. Mm-hmm. And as we know, in 2011, you know, we experienced a, a flood of a lifetime that we hope we'll never see again. And, mm-hmm. you know, there is some concern with that. And there's some questions as to how it's being managed. And, yes, we'll definitely talk about that. And I'm sure I'll, I'll ruffle a feather or two, you know, with some of the things I'm going to say about it. But that's okay. Hey, it, might, mm-hmm. it, just, it just might channel somebody into maybe thinking thinking about it and maybe making a change who knows but yeah there there that there's that issue i think there's an issue of lack of uh oh what's the word i'm looking for uh places to put your your boats and your pontoons right. in mm-hmm. the, the access points aren't very good I, yeah. I think we need more of those um you know just lots of little yeah, things we're a like river that. community we, how do we not we are we, we don't have an established river walk we have no. very few places you can put your boat in correct it's crazy yeah so you know again maybe maybe we'll spur on some interest and and get some of that stuff rolling and that would be awesome and you know, you, you look at it, and I, and I think the last one that we could touch on is, you know, taking care of it. I mean, you go out on a sandbar, and nothing makes me more frustrated when I see people leaving garbage behind and I just know. little things like that. You know, it's just something that, you know what, if you bring it in, br- bring it out, and it's not that hard, and then everybody's happy. But, you know, I just think those are some of the I main know. concerns. It's crazy that we'd have to tell people that. You would think it would just become naturally to take that stuff with you. But right, I, because I, if you don't, where do, where do you think it goes? It's exactly. Probably down to South Dakota. <laughs> but, I know, right? But, but we'll talk. We're like, ah, oh, that's South Dakota's problem <laughs> yeah, now. We'll let them deal with it. No, but see, you can't think like that. you got to make sure you take care of it. And, you know, we will. We'll talk about that type oh. of stuff. And, you know, you know, maybe we even talk about, you know, fish cleaning stations and things of that nature, too. There's just all kinds of things that we could kind of get after on this show. But we'll be speaking to a lot of different people. So it's not like we're going to get just one side of it, right. which is great. I, I love hearing other people talk about different things and, you know, you get different uh, perspectives on things. So I'm pretty, pretty anxious to see where we can go with that. I'm super excited to hear about all the great places and, you know, in the upper Midwest and the great things that we that that's offered well the, yeah there is that. you know and certainly we're going to talk about the river i mean a lot mm-hmm. i mean just because it's right here in our backyard but you know like this next week now i'm going to be up at devil's lake you know uh, mm-hmm. we're working with purchase guide service up there and just helping them all and i'm not going to be doing anything major but what a great opportunity for me to interview these guys yeah, and, absolutely. And, and let's talk about all the different folks that are coming into the state of North Dakota to mm-hmm. experience Devil's Lake. And, and, you know, we want to talk to the folks that are guiding around this area that, you know, people are coming into fish Lake Oahe and 
Missouri River and certainly Lake Sakakawea. So, you know, we're just going to get a lot of different views and a lot of different angles from what, what's happening here. And, you know, you, you, you kind of look over towards Minnesota. Minnesota has really done a wonderful job with, you know, promoting and, mm-hmm. and doing that sort of thing. You know, they've had some issues, too, in some that they can control, some they can't. But uh, again, that's that's almost their staple of their whole state is yeah. is the hunting, fishing, and resorts. It, it's just, mm-hmm. it's crazy how big a business that is there, and uh, it's 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 really kind of interesting to me that it really hasn't taken off here yet. And yeah. I think eventually it, something will catch on here and it, it will start to happen that yeah. way. And yeah, who knows? Maybe the maybe the show will have something to do with that. Yeah, and we have way more bodies of water than people know about. We do so and many getaway spots, hit, hidden gems, honestly. Mm-hmm. And you know, again, we'll, we'll get some we'll get some game and fish people on to talk about some of that stuff too. Because you know, you, I, I love watching uh, Tom Jensen's uh, deal on on the news channels of mm-hmm. you know when they inter- especially when they interview the the different guys that are working you know in the different sectors of the state and and what what they have to offer as far as their bodies of water and and, and places to camp and all this different stuff. It's it's really quite fascinating. Well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to talk to Peluso about Peluso. We're going to see a little bit of his background and how we got started and all this, if that works out. That's perfect. We're going to reveal deep, dark, dirty secrets. Oh, boy, are we ever. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's a question you want to ask him or something you would like to see on the show, email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLradio.net. Whoa. 